Hey everyone, Rodev here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys an F for flashlight, uh, well, system. So, when you hit F, as you can see, the flashlight turns on. When you hit F, it turns off. And when you're chatting, F will not affect the flashlight. So, as you can see, this flashlight has a range, it has brightness, and uh, it's uh, it creates real Roblox Studio light. So, I'm going to show you guys how this works and the script behind it. So, the first thing you need to do is go to Replicate Storage, insert a spotlight, set the angle to 30, and set the color to uh, set the color to white and set enable to true. After that, uh, the local script will handle everything. The script is located under starter player, under starter player scripts, and in a local script. So first, the, the first things first, we get UIS user input service. Then we get the player's camera. Then we get the local player since this is a, since this is a local script, it's for only one player. And then we have the mouse. And when I say only for one player, every single player gets their own version of the script. Not version, but this script is cloned for every single player. And uh, this line here tells us which player this script is going to get into. Now we have a mouse, so we get the player's mouse. And light on, light on is initially false, so it's never on automatically. Then we have local PL, which I use later. Uh, so, uh, first things first, we set the camera to first person. If you don't want this, you can go ahead and turn uh, this off by simply just doing dash dash here. But I'm going to keep it on. Next thing we do is listen for when the player presses their keyboard or their mouse. Then we get the input that they pressed, and then we get if they're chatting or they're not chatting. So, uh, this is basically just game process, but I changed it to chatting, uh, just for the sake of the video. So, if light on equals false, so if the light is already off, and the player presses F, and they're not chatting in the chat, then we can go ahead and turn the light on, or at least tell the script that the light is on. Then we actually clone the light. And uh, we set the light to our player's humanoid root part, which is in the middle of the player. And then we set the brightness to 10 and the range to 35. So I'm just going to set the range to 50 and the brightness up to 20. So I can show you guys when I spawn into the game next. So after that, uh, this bit of code, it runs if you press F again. So as you can see, uh, now that light on is true, uh, this code will not run. This code here will not run because light on is true, not false. So then we move down and we go here, light on is true. It sets to false, so next time when the player presses F, it'll run this instead. So, and then we just uh, destroy the light. by And also tell the script that the light is off. So that's basically how this whole script works. If you go ahead and hit play, we'll see a range of 50 and a brightness of 20. So, as you can see, F, and that's a brightness of 20. Range of 50, and that's 50 studs, by the way. So as you can see, that's how it works. Uh, 20 is a bit bright, but it's all up to you. Other than that, it's Rodev. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I can see you wanna vibe with me. Just say you wanna vibe with me. Feeling like I want a lottery. You getting a lot of me.